Hello, lovely art family. Today, we are customizing some Starbucks cups. Honestly, it's been a long time since we've done this, and I am so excited because I have been doing a lot of big paintings, and I just wanna chill today. I just wanna make some art on cups. With that being said, let's go. So this first cup here was actually pretty interesting because if you look to the left of me, there is a paint palette that looks like it has been used a lot. And that is because it has been. I have been doing a lot of paintings behind the scenes. I just released a floral collection, but I'm actually working on some other stuff right now. You guys will see it soon, but this palette is leftover paint from some paintings and I don't like to waste my stuff. So I'm using it up on this cup and it was a fun time. I decided to do bright to happy colors because that was what was not used on my palette and I wanted to make the most of it. And it's kind of funny talking about this because I feel like, I don't know, the paintings that I do on video, it looks like I waste paint, I know it does but I save it, I cover it and I use it later. I just don't really talk about it, but yeah, here's an example of how I reuse my paint later. <laughs> I still have crusty palettes though, because it does dry as you go. It's just inevitable, but like, hey, I don't waste very much of it and I'm pretty proud of that. Anyway, I decided let's do some happy flowers on this. And I don't know, I'm shooting for spring and summer themed cups in this entire video, so you'll see that as a theme. Anyway, I thought something simple but happy would be really fitting for the colors I had left. And here you go. Wait, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> gotcha. We're gonna add some more details. I just couldn't help it. I thought these little curly cues were so cute. So I did a lot of them. I tried to take up a lot of space as I did this and thought about it, decided to do some other little lines and dots here and there, outline the logo. Boom, we have a happy looking cup after all this, right? Okay, so we haven't used our Copics in a while and I think for this one, it would be really fun to do some sort of mixed media thing. Like, I don't know. I'm just gonna grab all of these. Got our colors. Okay, so spring is here, the weather is nicer, and I think traveling is kind of on my mind. What colors do I have? Hmm, I'll do some swatching. That's a really pretty blue. Cobalt blue, not the vibe. Antwerp blue. Hmm, ultramarine blue. <gasps> yes, I like that one. Well, I didn't narrow it down very well. I think I might pick one at random and that's what we're gonna go with. So let's see. Oh, well, I dropped this one. Lapis Lazuli, is that how you say it? I don't know, that's what we're using. I know this whole thing is pretty mysterious so far, but bear with me. We're gonna take this Copic marker, hope it has enough ink and do some stuff to this cup. So if you're hanging out with me here, making some art, I have a question of the day for you. Where's the last place you traveled? I last went to Colorado Springs for a medical conference with my husband. That was a couple weeks ago, we took the babies. It was a fun time. And my babies really loved it. They were waving at strangers <laughs> because they're very outgoing. <laughs> This is like ultra streaky, so I'm gonna do a second coat off camera. Okay, I'm back. I tried to do a second coat on this, but I'm like out of ink. And truth be told, most 
of those Copics back there are out of ink. <laughs> and I need to go get refills. But I think we're gonna improvise and work with what we have and pivot. I read a lot of your comments about just being discouraged with art or being afraid to go at something because maybe you're trying something different or you're just afraid it's gonna be bad. Sometimes art can be intimidating, especially like this. When things don't go as we planned, and so instead of us being hard on ourselves or maybe hard on each other or like, oh, I should have just done this instead. I'm gonna show you how we are gonna pivot from this and just work with our situation. I don't want to waste this cup because I like to store art supplies in my decorated cups <laughs> and stuff. So let's make the most of a blotchy situation. We're gonna make this fun. If it doesn't turn out okay, We'll just have grace with ourselves. And honestly, this sounds way more exciting to me because I have been loving these Art X acrylic markers. This video is not sponsored. I'm just like really into them. So let's do something cool. You might be wondering, okay, but what does that mean, Mira Byler? We are going deep sea diving in the ocean today on this Starbucks cup. I think these acrylic markers are gonna be awesome for this, so I'm excited. Another question of the day for you folks. Who else has incredibly bad allergies this week? Cause everything is blooming, at least where I am. The seafloor is on our cup. I love doing little projects like this in between my giant paintings and stuff because this is the stuff that's like low pressure and I'm having fun, you know? It's the things that live inside my mind that would otherwise not get a chance to come out if I was trying to stick with one aesthetic or style. But you know me, we're style hoppers over here. Well, we're just gonna do it all and it's gonna be a good time. Okay, there's one little piece of coral. I'm gonna come over here and do another piece of red coral. While those pieces of coral are drying, I'm going to go to other areas of this cup. Something like this would be cool, right? Not gonna lie, drawing a jellyfish that was semi-transparent was intimidating, but stippling came in handy. That was the technique we did and boom, here we go. <laughs> I say we like you and me because you're watching this, but really I drew it, whatever. Anyway, here's the tentacles. I thought it would be so fun to wrap them around the logo and just make the cup feel like that Starbucks logo was just chilling down there. You know, the fish were just like blub blub all around it. Anyway, this was fun. I really enjoyed the fact that these acrylic markers could be layered so many times because I could blend a little bit. I could just go over things if I didn't like it, whatever. It all worked out. These cups are super durable too. So if you want to do like a cool DIY project on a budget, they work great for so many mediums because they hold liquid. <laughs> anyway, that was the little sea turtle. Now I'm gonna move on to this little school of fish. I saw these when I was snorkeling in Maui and I decided that would be a cool fish to put on this cup. After finishing that school of fish, I decided to, you know, keep the cup simple, but add interest in different places. So I essentially just kept turning the cup in my hands and adding things where I felt like it was necessary. I really enjoyed adding the coral and the seaweed and just, I don't know, making all these different colors come together. It's just pretty amazing to me that when we look at the water above the surface, it's this massive body of like dark blue, bright blue, turquoise, whatever color is really reflecting off the surface. That's what we see. But then you go underneath and there's all this beautiful life. And I don't know, it's so easy to take it for granted. But there are so many cool things in life that <sighs> exist. Like fish. Wow. Okay. 
it's, yeah, this is great. <laughs> you just got to peek inside my mind. Anyway, I love the ocean. I really do. It was really fun just illustrating this on a Starbucks cup and making a lot of it up as I went. I didn't really go into this with a massive plan. Well, you saw earlier, we had to pivot and improvise because my Copics don't really have ink right now. <laughs> This cup took a long time to do. I actually finished it off camera, but let me show you something cool. I decided to add glitter to this. It might be kind of hard to see it right now, but yeah, there's a lot of glitter on this cup. Let's bust out these markers again for the final cup because I'm kind of obsessed with them and we need to do something cool. So I think we'll just plan to do like folk art. Yeah, let's try that. So this logo here, let's get creative and brave and like incorporate it more into the picture. I'm going to turn this logo into like a massive tulip and the logo is going to be nestled inside. You'll see. All right, closed it all in. Let's draw the stem. And everything is just gonna kind of build off of this. So I did some color variation within the petals. It's kind of hard to see it on camera, but I just thought a little bit of pink in there would be good. And now I'm gonna start surrounding it with tons of flowers. And this is just gonna be like a garden cup. I wanted to really make things pop. So I did leaves, that little bow thing at the top that's like made of leaves. I don't really know. Just whatever came to my mind came out on the cup. That's like the beauty of art is you can either get really intimidated by it or you can just let whatever's living in your mind out. And it's a super freeing experience. So this cup was that for me. I have been meticulously pulling weeds around the outside of my house all week. And I think this cup is inspired by that because I'm so ready for the flowers to just bloom and all the beauty of spring and summer to just come to life, you know? So good. I put roses all around and ah, this cup just made me so happy. I don't really have many words for it other than like joyful feelings and thankfulness that life comes in seasons. And, you know, flowers are a great representation of that because they die back in the fall and everything gets brown and gray. <sighs> and it seems like, you know, that's the end. But, you know, that's the closing of a season. There's some resting and everything as the snow falls and then they're back. And the cycle repeats, turns into something beautiful. And I don't know, I like to look at life like that. You know, we have seasons of good and bad and ugly and pretty, but it's all a cycle and we're not doomed to bad circumstances. You know, we have moments where flowers bloom in our lives too. And we have moments where they are dying back. And yeah, you can interpret that as you will, but I think it's a really beautiful thing. And yeah, that's just something I've been thinking about lately. So there you go. You didn't get a ton of the process with this cup, but you did get a little tidbit of what I was thinking when I did it. It's hard to condense it down into a video, but yeah. Oh, by the way, I decided to color in the logo as well because I just thought with a cup so joyful, we needed to really just bring it to life. So that's what this looks like now. Hope you enjoyed it.
I really loved these customizations because they radiate joy and spring. And you know me, I love spring and summer. I really like this one because it's like folk art meets spring. And I like that this whole logo is like in the center of a giant tulip. Just had to get it out of my mind, you know? Anyway, let me know which cup was your favorite in the comments. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I actually looked up some fish species that are found in Maui and a couple of them are on this cup. And then I just like made up a bunch of stuff for this cup because I was just feeling like doing that. Anyway, I hope this video was fun for you. I hope you enjoyed hanging out and yeah, have a beautiful day. Bye.